Okay. So I've got this squeak small th talk thing I'm working on, just a little asteroids type game, and I've got it to the point where it sort of looks okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set something. Basically, let's close it out a little bit so you can see. Okay, basically what I've got right here is I've got all the ships tied to a ship current location. And it's currently set with a Z value of 22. So let's set the Z value of 20. Bring it back over so you can see what happens. There it is with Z value of 22. Now I'm put the cursor next to it and I'm doing a do it. Where's the do it? There's the do it. Oh look, see it zeroed it out and made them a little bit smaller. So let's make them or actually a little bit bigger because they're closer. Let's make them a little smaller by putting them at 26. And now I'll do it again. Well, I'll just do a command D. Oh, it made them smaller. Now we'll zip them around. You can see up in the corner I've got the frame rate. I've been fiddling around trying to get the frame rate constant, but I haven't figured it out yet. Now if we go back and we look at the ship render, you'll see what I've got is I'm creating a static ship and putting it at 17, a Z of 17. Now I'm going to actually put it at a static Z of 10, save it, and now when we go back and look at it, you'll see that the static ship is actually larger because it's closer to the camera. On the other hand, we could go back and we could set the static ship with a value of minus 30, which will put it much farther away. And there you see the static ship is much farther away than it used to be. You get the idea.